Well, hello. Um, so I'm actually on my way to a really fun store here in the Netherlands and it's called Action. But sometimes I just like to go there uh, to be inspired. Okay, so I'm going to do a little voiceover. Here you can see a tippy tent, which is great to use for an outdoor photo session or even in the studio. I have it in my living room uh, for the kids to play in. These uh, cotton balls with light bulbs inside are really cute to dress up your decor. Of course, there's lots of Easter stuff. These wooden little stools to sit on are great for the older kids. They're quite heavy, uh, so they won't fall over easily. Here you have these little plant clips that I use to clip uh, like hats onto like clothing racks. Um, here you see garden tie. I'm going to buy this one to create like a floral crown that I want to use during uh, maternity sessions. This green wire is great to attach uh, like fake flowers to hoops or you know maybe even to the floral crown. Here I'm just going to pick up some long repair grass seeds because with a golden retriever who likes to dig holes in grass, the garden is a disaster. Some flower seeds. Uh, my daughter loves picking flowers. It's better to do it out of her own backyard than instead of someone else's backyard. Here you have the fake flower department, which is absolutely great. It's not very expensive at all. The quality is not that great either, but sometimes perfect to use for a floral crown or just to dress up the photo shoot decor. They're not like silk flowers, but they're also really inexpensive. Uh, I love the big blue ones, but there only had two ones left. Uh, maybe later on I'll pick them up. Here you see like bouquets of fake flowers. Um, so I might pick up some to use for the floral crown, which I want to create. It's going to be another DIY video. Some blossom fake flowers. I might use them f like to create a set. I might use them for the floral crown. Here you have little plants. Um, they're really popular right now and I might want to use them next to like a bowl when I have a newborn in like a wooden bowl on the wooden decor. I think it looks really great. I love how they have a mixture of home decor and toys and carpets and food. They have so many random things. Here you see blankets as well. I usually don't buy my backdrops here because I really like stretchy knitted blankets. Uh, look, there you got a little palm tree. Oh, it's not really what I thought it was. But you know, you can just look for stuff. Oh, people are always asking me where I get my wooden little rocking horses. I buy them here in this store called Action. They're usually around seven, eight euros. Some, the smallest ones are five. This one is great to hang in the back during like a boho styled cake smash decor. So it's also great uh, as part of your backdrop. Here you got a pumpkin, who knows if you wanna do, uh, I don't know, Thanksgiving pumpkin decor. Um, yeah, always great baskets. You can use them for, I don't know, sitter sessions, newborn sessions. Make sure that if they are light that you place something that's heavy inside so they will never tip over. Um, that one I like as well. I don't think it's waterproof though to use as a bathtub for a cake smash session. Here you got color catches. Always great when you wash backdrops, when you wash clothes, they will absorb any color that might spill off. Here you got some chalk. Great for the kids now that it is becoming warmer outside. It will dog poo bags. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty self-explanatory. Oh, a toy for the dog. Yeah, why not bring something home for the dog so that she will not chew up all the kids' toys. So that's great. Confetti, always great when you do like a photo session where the kids can blow glitter. Instead of glitter, confetti is so much easier to clean up. I love bringing home these little coloring books, which are educational at the same time. Stickers, whatever. Oh, here I get my honeycombs, which I use for cake smash sessions a lot. So I'm actually looking for the mint green color, but they don't have it at the moment anymore. So yeah, blues and pinks I still have in the studio. Whites are always great to have. So they sell them in a pair of two, like a bigger one and a smaller one, I think for around 90 cents or euro. I cannot see right now, but yeah. They always look pretty in the background during a cake smash session. So I've been buying there for quite a long time. Here we go, lots of colors. Those are the little um, well, other stuff that you can hang in the back. Just keep looking. Oh yeah, so it's 79 cents. Well, you can always bring some candies with you. <laughs> uh, I might buy something for the way home. So yeah, they have lots of good things. Ooh, stuffed toys llamas. 
dress up pants. They look very interesting. I might buy some chocolate. Yeah, so this is for example to put on your changing table like that. You can wash it for the babies. Oh, I like these little perfumed bags that you can put your diaper. Yeah, I just bought a bunch of random things. What inspires me as well is shops where they have like home decor. Um, just to see what kind of colors they use, what kind of material. Sometimes they have really beautiful wooden bowls or um, yeah, just something cool. So there's a new home decor shop that has opened yesterday. So I'm going to go and check it out and just uh, film a little bit. So when I walk through these stores, whether it's Ikea or here, another um, like home decor furniture uh, store, I like to look at the colors. I like to look at the materials that they've used. And of course it changes with the seasons, it changes with the trends, but I like to see these trends because this is what people also have in their homes or it inspired their home decor. Uh, so of course the neutral colors you will pretty much see every season everywhere. But um, like, yeah, you could see for example this um, dusty green, like emerald green, you see like the mustard yellow a lot. Um, so I use those colors as well in my sessions because you also see those in nurseries. Here you see a very random colored horse with a very <laughs> high price tag. Not really my style. But yeah, I love seeing this wood. Uh, also the vintage carpets that you see now a lot. Um, it gives me inspiration as well as how to style my sessions, whether it's a newborn session or like a baby session, which I also call maybe a sitter session. Uh, even with the cake smash decor, you see the boho, um, like botanical style. Um, and that's what you see in these kind of shops as well as to, you know, what people like. And they also have styles which I would not really like myself. Look at that massive dog on the left. Anyway, but um, so I will not use those in a session, but other things might, you know, really surprise me as colors, combination. Okay. So that was some really fancy home decor, some beautiful, uh, some not really my style. Um, of course I didn't buy anything, but it's just to give me a look and feel of what's trendy nowadays as far as like interior design, uh, because people want to have the photos, their newborn photos, maybe in their living room. So which colors do you use? Uh, the emerald green, the mustard yellow, um, you know, rich darker colors, uh, maybe some gold. Uh, it's all very fancy. Um, so now my last stop, I'm gonna go head over to a garden center. I need to buy some meat for the dog. Um, also, they have a lot of items that, you know, could be suitable for photo sessions and at least could be a source of inspiration. So let's go. So this is another garden center that I like going to. It's not my favorite one, um, but it's great because they sell the dog meat here so that's why I go here they have really nice plants as well um, but what I really like here are the fake flowers and yeah in the previous store they also had fake flowers which were a lot cheaper but these ones are actually prettier so uh, and they have like things on sale often I love buying stuff on sale as you might have realized in my earlier videos so here you have garlands and I love how a simple garland in the background can really just be enough as far as a photo session decor, for example, during a cake smash session. So I think this is a really pretty one. Um, later on, I actually went back to buy the red one as well. Here you have beautiful eucalyptus. I love real eucalyptus, letting it dry and using that. But after a while, it kind of like loses leaves, it falls apart. Um, so yeah, you cannot really move around your circles that much if you have real eucalyptus because they'll break. Um, so yeah, here you have more like just items which are really cute to style your session. Maybe circles, wooden bowls, whatever. Um, very pretty, just to look around. So I think I'm gonna get this one. It's 50% off. I think it's great for a cake smash session to hang in the back as a garland. Uh, for like a boho theme, simple, pure and white cake smash. Okay, so I'm back home and I see if I can quickly show you what I got. Um, so I got this piece of like fake blossom, which I am maybe going to use to create like a um, floral crown for a newborn session. 
Uh, no, not newborn. Uh, maternity session. This one was one euro and seventy nine cents. Um, this is what I got at the garden center. It's like a floral garland, so maybe I can use it in the back during the cake smith session. Um, then all the other stuff was from the action store, like the first store, a cookie jar. So that's for home. Um, here's another piece of fake flowers which i can maybe use in the floral crown candy bar already ate one um chalk for the kids to play with toy for the dog and um so yeah i bought three of these little plants uh, and i think they look really cute together so maybe i can style a newborn session with these so when the baby's lying in like a wooden bowl on the real wood, I can place these next to the wooden bowl. I think it looks really cool. I like this botanic look, like botanical look. And yeah. Um, color catchers, keep it white kind of uh, sheets. Amazing to put in the washing machine. They will absorb color. Good for your clothes. Good for your backdrops as well if you want to wash uh, different colors together. So one color is not staining the other one. Um, yeah, dog poo bags. Oh, yeah. I bought some wildflower mix. Um, lawn repair grass seeds. Okay, so these garden ties and tie wire I'm going to use for the floral crown. Um, these are fragranced nappy bags, amazing. I always ask the parents to put their uh, diapers in these fragranced nappy bars. Then I put them in the diaper bin. So when I empty the diaper bin, I try to empty it every day. It smells like flowers. Um, bought some dark chocolate for myself for tonight. And then for the kids, I bought two of these exercise books. To learn how to count and to learn how to calculate it's with stickers it looks like fun they can color um so yeah that's what i bought today so i really hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe leave a comment love to read your comments where do you get your inspiration from where do you buy your uh random studio props and uh essentials and then you can see me in my next video and thank you so much for watching